angel mein nazar aayega continuing from my previous video uh this is uh, uh from cambridge international examination o ordinary level and this question has been taken from october 2006 paper so the question is solve this inequality so you got minus 7 is less than equal to 3x minus 4 is less than 2 So I'm going to split this into two parts. So can I say this is minus seven is less than equal to three x minus four, and I can also say three x minus four is less than two. Now the same thing, minus seven is less than or equal to three x minus four is same as writing three x minus four is greater than equal to negative seven. Okay, suppose if you say a is greater than b, this implies b is less than a. Okay, so yeah, the next step is I'm going to add four to both sides. So in, whenever you're solving inequality, uh, the inequality changes only when you're dividing or, or multiplying by a negative number. So if you add or subtract or multiply or divide by a positive number. the inequality would not change so if i add 4 to this side to eliminate this 4 i have to add 4 to this side so this is same like equa uh, an equation but the only difference is when you're multiplying or dividing by a negative number so 3x is greater than equal to negative 3 so if you divide both side by 3 x is greater than or equal to negative 1 so this is one part and this part the same thing if you add 4 to this side you'd add 4 to this side so you can say 3x is less than 6 and if you divide 3 on both sides x is less than 2 so how will we now let us write this together this implies x is less than 2 and x is greater than equal to so this is how we write greater than equal to uh negative 1 sorry this should be negative 1 so this is the answer <coughs> okay we have solved it now the next question is write all the integers which satisfy this inequality so so we have got this answer x is any number any real number between negative 1 and 2 but they are asking you to write all the integers now x can be greater than or equal to negative 1 so x can be negative 1 x can be negative 1 x can be 0 x can be 1 but it cannot be equal to 2 because it's less than 2 so this is the answer okay let us move on to the next question <coughs> the distance of from earth to sun is e kilometers where e is this and the distance from sun to the mercury is m which is this number so both of them are in the scientific form so we want to write this in the the ratio of e to m okay so this is uh so e is to m as the ratio would be e over m which is 1.5 times 10 to the power 8 over 6 times 10 to the power 7 so you can simplify like this 15 over 10 sorry 15 over 6 times 10 to the power 8 over 10 to the power 7 so this is 15 over 60 times this is 10 so this is 15 over 60 okay so 15 over 60 is 1 quarter so you can divide both by 15 So if you divide this side by this by 15, you can divide this side also by 15. 15 divided by 15 is 1, and this is 15 divided by sorry 60 divided by 15 is 4 times 10 over 1, which is 10 over 4, which is 5 over 2. So you want to write this as a ratio. in the simplest form so the ratio would be 5 is to 
what does this mean? Uh, this means in terms of a phi is to two is same as if you half this. This is this is just to explain. This is the answer. This is two point five is to one. So basically, this corresponds to e, the distance of Earth, and this is the distance of Mercury. Okay, this is Earth and this is Mercury. So I can say that the Earth is 2.5 times, the distance of Earth is 2.5 times the distance of Mars from the Sun. This is what it means mathematically. Okay, so now <clears throat> this is the diagram. So let me scroll this up. Okay, so this is what I said. Okay, so they, they have shown the diagram. So this is your Sun. Let me change color. Okay, so let me make it green. Okay. So this is your sun, and this is your earth, which is this distance. And this is, so what I'm saying is, if this is 1, to understand, this would be 2.5. So if this is 1 kilometers, this is 2.5 kilometers. Okay. Now, the diagram shows the earth, the sun, and the mercury on a straight line. So this is earth, sun, and mercury in a straight line, with the sun between the earth and the mercury. Find the distance between Earth to Mercury. That means this total distance I'll give you answer in standard form. So they want us to add 1.5 times 10 to the power 8 plus 6 times 10 to the power 7. Okay. We want to answer in. So this is 15 over 10 times 10 to the power 8 plus 6 times. 10 to the power 7. Now this can be simplified as 15 times 10 to the power 8 over 10. This is the same as writing like this plus 6 times 10 to the power 7. So this simplifies to 15 times 10 to the power 7 plus 6 times 10 to the power 7. I can factor out this 10 to the power 7. So if you factor out 10 to the power 7, you get 15 plus 6 inside the bracket. So this is 21 times 10 to the power 7. Now you, to write in the standard form or the scientific form, the yeah, standard form, you have to write this as 2.1. So 21, can I write is 2.1? 21 can be written as 2.1 times 10 to the power 1. So this is nothing but your 21 times 10 to the power 7. So this and this and this you can simplify. So in the standard form the distance is 2.1 times 10 to the power 7. See you in the next